Hi, Miss Lynch. Um, here's my uh my little book talk here. So something I liked about this book, I really liked all the detail um that the author put into this book. Um, and it really showed like um how much being in the war affected uh Billy and his life. Uh, I have a little quote here. Um, it says this was true. Billy saw the boiled bodies in Dresden, and I have lit my my way in a, in a prison at night with candles from fat of human beings who were butchered by the brothers and fathers of those schoolgirls who were boiled. Um, and this kind of shows, like, how his experience in the war, like, really stayed in his mind, and he can remember, um, in pretty good detail of what actually um happened when he was serving in the war um stuff that i didn't like about the book i didn't like how like i didn't like all the time travel stuff um i thought it was really confusing um that he was like always in a different place in a different time and you had to kind of figure it out as you read um which was kind of weird to me and yeah, it was just, like, confusing to me. Uh, favorite quote was, um, people would be surprised if they knew how much in this world was, if they knew how much, how much in this world was due to prayer. Well, I'm pretty spiritual, and, um, I believe this quote because when people pray, I believe that prayer is heard whether they think so or not. Um, some quote that like really stood out to me um, that I thought was kind of a pivotal moment in the story was um, when they say, uh, poor Valencia was unconscious, overcome by carbon monoxide. She was heavenly azure. I don't know how to say that word. One hour later, she was dead. And then they say, so it goes. And this kind of shows that um, Billy had very little um, care for for life and for death. Um, and that his wife just died. And he's just saying, so it goes. Which I thought was kind of crazy. Like, even though, like, Billy basically knew it was going to happen... Um, he was still like, oh, so it goes. Like, he didn't really care that much. Um, uh, somebody I'd recommend this to. Um, I'd probably recommend this to my history teacher, uh, Miss DeVito. Because, um, she taught us a lot about, like, the Holocaust and stuff. And how it affected the people, um, in the Holocaust. And how it affected the civilians and stuff. But she never really taught us about, like, how much it really affected um, the soldiers. It it was normally just about, like, civilians in war and how they were affected by what happened in the war. It never really talked to us about how the soldiers felt about war and their PTSD and everything they had to go through after war. And I think this book does a good job of showing that. Um, what did this book teach me? Uh, this book taught me, um, a better understanding of what it was like to be in a war and how that affects somebody in the long run of life. Because now that Billy, um, Pilgrim served in the war, like, that's something that'll stay with him the rest of his life. And there's a lot of people that we just kind of look over that, really like the war wasn't them just serving the years that they served in the war but it was serving their life because they had to deal with the the stress from the war um after the war and like it also really affected um families back then because um they had to deal with the loss of um of their loved ones during that time. Uh, let's 
see what other questions there. Um, a question I would ask the author. Um, I would ask Billy, like, why did he cry about the horses, and why was that um a significant uh, part? Uh, I also like added. I have a little bit of an allegory here. I think that's. I think this is what you call it. Um. So, here we go. Uh, Jesus repents. Uh, Jesus represents a figure who, like, like Pilgrim, is capable of moving through time, acting as a messenger between the divine and human worlds. The crucifixion represents Jesus' violent death, which was faded which was fatted and predicted by Jesus himself. Um, this is just as Billy, as Billy knew his own death is coming. So it kind of shows that Jesus knew that his own death was coming on this certain day, and then Billy also knew that his death was coming on a certain day. So that kind of shows a little bit of an allegory of how Jesus works.